Good morning, Saratoga High School, and good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Austin. Welcome to SHS TV's broadcast for Friday, February 12, 2016. I'm Ryan Kim, and this is Austin Wing. It's a busy day for lunch meetings today. There will be a WISTA meeting during lunch to discuss the engineering classes and a mandatory meeting in the Drama Center for all students going to the state conference field trip. All students are welcome to submit to Soundings, SHS TV's literary magazine. Submissions are due by the end of February break. Share your poetry, prose, video, music, or artwork by sending an email to soundings2016 at gmail.com. Have you heard about the controversy surrounding this year's Academy Awards, Ryan? Yes, I have, Austin. SHS TV wanted to know what members of our community thought about the issues surrounding this year's nominations. You may have seen the hashtag OscarsSoWhite recently trending on Twitter or Facebook. The issue arises from the upcoming Academy Awards decision to only nominate white actors for awards in acting. Many prominent PLC actors have taken to social media to share their thoughts. Others are even going as far as to boycott the Oscars this year, despite the fact that the host this year is black. We asked SHS students about their thoughts on the matter. I don't think that the Oscars are inherently racist necessarily, but I feel like this is an underlying problem, especially with Hollywood, because it's mass media and um, you know you get put on this big screen, and if if you take away uh, characters who are of color, then um, you're kind of uh, making those people invisible to the world. I think it's kind of sad uh, because I think so many people have made so many great movies this year and it sucks that some people aren't getting recognized, but it's also tough to see um, just so much disrespect between kind of both sides. I think it should be fair, it should be equal. Uh, I mean, it should be even for everybody. I mean, it doesn't matter if, I don't think being white or black should matter, it just depending on how good of an actor or an actress she or he is. Earlier this school year, SHS TV visited the newly opened Sue's Gallery Cafe. We went back to visit this popular new hangout. Let's take a look at how they're doing now. Uh, I'd say it definitely has picked up like since the winter break. So right after, or I guess starting winter break, we got a lot of traffic. And um, right now it's like pretty good too. We get a lot of traffic from high schoolers. I'd say the three most popular items are probably the matcha latte and the Aztec mocha. And if you really like um, regular coffee, uh, lattes or pour overs. And because we get all our... on adding some sandwiches from Sajura. Um, and we're also going to include, I think, a Meyer lemon. A new creative writing class was offered at Saratoga this year. Based on its success, it will be offered again next year. Here's a look at the class in case you'd like to consider as one of your electives next year. So uh, creative writing is a brand new class for this school year and I got a lot of help from the other English staff and input from students on what kinds of units and kinds of activities they wanted to see. So far we've done personal narratives, short stories, uh, script writing, which we actually had drama students perform as the final last semester, and right now we're working on poetry, so they are inside writing sonnets. Creative writing is a great class because it's the only class really that we get to be creative. We get to be creative because we're actually writing pieces that we make up, and it's not something like an essay in an English class where we write it because we have to. In Creative writing, the pieces that we write, we write because we want to, because it's topics that we're interested in. She's a really great teacher also because she understands that sometimes class can be a little boring when it's super monotonous and everything, and she really tries to change it up sometimes and keep us all engaged and interested, and I fully recommend taking her class. The annual Benefit Fashion Show is coming up. Here's a look at how the Benefit Commission is getting ready. The Benefit Fashion Show is an annual fashion show that the um, Benefit Commission puts on and each year we raise money for a different charity. So this year we're raising money for Silicon Valley Children's Fund. As a theme head, I work with Kylie and Diane, her mom, and we're in toga wear. So we basically design all the toga wear and pick the outfits for the kids to wear in our theme. And um, then we have fittings to see like what ones they like and they get to pick what outfits they want to wear. The event is important because it kind of brings the high school students and local businesses together to raise money for um, an important cause. It's really fun because um, I get to model with all of my friends and be a theme head for like younger kids too and I help a lot of people with their like hair and makeup and stuff backstage so it's like really fun too. You know the students learn about giving not just doing an event that has no purpose is just about uh, doing 
something that is meaningful. And it's really fun to, to watch the students plan and organize and, and come up with creative ideas. So it, it's fun, the entire thing. You know, Ryan, it's almost Valentine's Day and there's love in, in the air at Saratoga High School. That's right, Austin. Some members of the Togo community received anonymous Valentines this week. SHS-TV went along to film the reactions. Here's how it went. Being given an anonymous Valentine's Day gift, how does this make you feel? Like I'm on The Bachelor. <laughs> Um, thank you to whoever sent this. Made my day. You've been given an anonymous Valentine's Oh, look at that. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Thank you. Um, thank you to whoever, um, gave this to me. Um, yeah. I'm not really good at this, but, yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> I don't know who sent it to me, so, thank you to whoever sent it to me. Uh, I feel loved, uh, and I feel like I love this person back. I want you to know that that love is reciprocated every day, right? Uh, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna keep it with me all day so that everyone can see that I have it. I will cherish it forever. How do you feel? Wow, this is really nice. Thanks. It's Valentine's Day, guys. Thank you. I'm, no, it's not, oh, this is a lack size. Oh. How does it make me feel? Loved. Deeply loved. Thank you whoever gave this to me. And I, I, I love you. Before we go, please join us in wishing happy birthday to Miles Chaffin, Caleb Coborn, Caitlin Drew, Elizabeth Kardak, CO Lee, and SHS TV's very own William Chen. It's almost vacation, Falcons. For all of us here at SHS TV, thanks for watching and have a great break.